Innisfail Southern Lake member, followed by Calgary Mountain View. Yesterday, the shocking report into the death of two-week-old baby Annie was released. During her pregnancy, baby Annie's mum was prescribed nearly 5,000 pills by 11 different doctors. The primary doctor was apparently unaware of her pregnancy, and her obstetrician was initially unaware of her drug abuse. When the obstetrician finally discovered the prescription, she left a message for her primary doctor, a message that was never returned. The Health Quality Council report into the death of Greg Price identified these same types of breakdowns. To the Minister of Health, when can we expect a real plan to ensure the similarities around the deaths of Baby Annie and Greg Price? Thank you. Honourable Minister of Health. Well, Mr. Speaker, this, uh, uh, this will be my first opportunity to express uh, my sympathy to, uh, to the family for this very tragic death. And I... Uh, I actually say, uh, in this sense, I agree with the Honourable Member in that she draws the correct analogy between the issues re related to prescribing and dispensing of drugs in this case and some of the issues that were raised in the continuity of care report prepared by the Health Quality Council. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, that uh, health professions in this province have a responsibility and they are regulated uh, to share information. They are obliged to share information in treating the same patient. There is obviously a very serious breakdown Thank in this you case. For supplemental. Given that in 2011, an expert panel reviewing the death of another young child in government care called on Alberta Health Services and Child Services to collaborate on issues of at-risk children, and given that yesterday's report into the death of baby Annie says, and I'll quote, the Ministry of Human Services has indicated that this recommendation has been accepted and completed. However, this approach was not evident in Annie's case, and clearly the Minister agrees. Can someone in the government explain to the House whether or not that recommendation has actually been implemented, and if it has, why the heck has it not actually been, been followed? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm... I'm First of all, I'd like to say that one of the things that I'm looking to do with the passage of Bill 11 is to ensure that all recommendations, Mr. Speaker, are tracked, the response from government is reported, and then the, health, uh, the Quality Council, Mr. Speaker, will ensure that the recommendations and the actions are actually followed up on. That's something, that's a change I am looking to make, Mr. Speaker, with the passage of this bill. Further, in 2012, the AVERT teams in Calgary and Edmonton have been established, which are multidisciplinary teams between justice, health, and children's services to work with high-needs infants. Thank you. Final supplement. Sadly, those recommendations were three years ago. Given that Human Services and Alberta Health are two massive ministries, and three years ago another death of a child in care report tasked the ministries to work together in cases of at-risk children, and given that three years later the Child and Youth Advocate has indicated that these past recommendations continue to be ignored. Ministers, clearly there's a problem. How can you tell Albertans that all recommendations are being followed or have been implemented when there's a 14-day-old baby who just finished dying and we still have not had your ministries figure this out? The Honourable Minister of Health. Uh, well, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to really caution this Honourable Member uh, in, uh, in making generalizations about this case or any other. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, my ministry works very closely with the Ministry of Human Services in a number of areas that pertain to children at risk. But, Mr. Speaker, in the final analysis, there can be no excuse for the failure of health care providers to exercise appropriate oversight over the prescribing and dispensing of medication, nor can they ignore the responsibility to share information about common patients to ensure that these sort of situations are identified and acted upon before these sorts of tragic circumstances.